The University of Exeter has been hit by strike action in a dispute over pensions, pay and working conditions. 73 other universities across the country are also affected by the strike starting today, although the universities in Plymouth and Falmouth are unaffected. From Exeter, Andrea Ormsby reports. Solidarity forever. Standing strong. Day one of strike action. 14 are planned in a protest over pay, pensions and working conditions. When you model the pensions correctly, we don't need to be paying increased contributions. We don't need to be paying up to a third of our salary, jointly employers and, and, and employees, in order to pay for the benefits that, that are needed. Students here have mixed views on the strike, but many worry it'll affect their studies. I don't know, if they feel they're being overworked, then, then fair enough. But at the same time, if it's going to muck up our finals, uh, that's not particularly good for us. I'm more worried about the education we miss out on as a result of inaction by the university with respect to paying conditions that leads to massive amounts of stress for our lecturers um, and our tutors. In a statement, the University of Exeter says it's working to address concerns about the employment of occasional teachers and the use of fixed-term contracts and on workload, well-being initiatives and gender and race equality. The university and college union says the strike action will escalate each week, culminating with a week-long walkout from the 9th to the 13th of March. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Exeter.